Biotechnology generates revenues of several hundred billions of dollars every year. No wonder that a huge community arose to cover the diverse fields of biotechnology, including hundreds of scientific events. These meetings are basically evaluated on how much data, how much evidence they provide, how thick the concepts are that are being presented. What is forgotten, however, is uh, to really look at the field as a whole, to look at how it uh, develops, how it impacts and how it is impacted by other current developments in science, in the industry, in economy and in society as a whole. The European Summit of Industrial Biotechnology, ESIP, has been designed to be a platform for industrial biotechnology in multiple contexts. The ESIP should encourage all protagonists of industrial biotechnology to think outside the box and to rethink biotech based on political frameworks, scientific challenges, industrial demands and many opportunities for networking. People from five continents are here. So uh, I think uh, it's a very nice place to be and to meet and I think a uh, very interesting place to do uh, discussions on this emerging sector. At the ESIP 2016 in Austria, more than 400 specialists from five continents and 23 countries gathered in Graz, where representatives from 80 companies and scientific organizations formed a melting pot where new ideas could arise. Specialists in industry and particularly in science tend to uh, come together with each other. In high level conferences discuss their topics. What we think is that there is a need to go over the borders, to come together and think together to get new impulses and that's our idea. Guided by the slogan Rethink Biotechnology, on day one the attendees heard about the hidden treasures of biotechnology, discussed trends in the industry, the decarbonization of the economy and the dangers of publishing and reading scientific articles for free. So I think there's a lot changing um, in terms of what's possible and that will greatly change what people can dream of and accomplish. In the evening, the Gala Academia took place on the Schlossberg high above the city center. Day two was shaped by scientific topics. The attendees got in touch with Plato and Karl Popper in a session about the innovative thinking processes with the philosopher's stone and its application in biocatalysis, with the importance of networks in biotech, the power of the microbiome or the importance of highly specific sugar molecules. Additionally, they assessed trends in biotech and listened to ways how to convince customers and investors, including the crowd, about innovative projects and products. At night, the guests of the ESIP had fun at the Biotech Chill Out in the Dome, a huge historic cave in the city center of Graz. The third and last day, representatives from industry and academia talked about proteins for competitive bioprocesses in silico analysis and design, as well as industrial biotechnology and its challenges within the coming years. The ESIP was an impressive success for the visitors. It is not only well organized, but the participation here is, is very strong, very open. People um, are sharing ideas, are sharing their, their thoughts. And so it really brings together the best academic groups in Austria, together with industry, not just from Austria, but from Germany and from around the world. Meeting people from different uh, feels always creates a kind of melting pot where new ideas can arise and that's at the end of the day the idea of a conference. It helped to build new networks and think about new joint projects in the welcoming atmosphere of the city of Graz.
Ich freue mich riesig, dass eine so große internationale Konferenz in Graz stattfindet. Ich glaube, das wird viele, viele neue Impulse bringen und vielleicht die eine oder andere Innovation begründen. Find more information about the ESIP online at www.esip.at and stay tuned for the next European Summit of Industrial Biotechnology in 2017.